It is complete course project. Please learn them in order. This is part 5 rendering. Ok, now we want to take final batch render. So before that you want to select all the objects in your outliner using control. Select control BG. So short camera 1 and key light, ambient occlusion, chord reflection 1, chord reflection 2 and animation control 0 1. So you want to select all the objects using control in your keyboard. So you want to select in outliner, go to render view and click on this button. So it means it will your selected object will be add to this layer automatically. You want to rename this layer as mobile underscore output. So and press enter. So now I want to um, go to render settings in common tab so see here in common tab you want to choose this file output so my file output as mobile underscore output so and press enter so I choose my image format as Torga so because we want to take final composition in After Effects so definitely you want to choose Torga file so I will choose Torga TGA so I want continuous frame to render so in case so in this case it has only single frame so I will select this one and choose last option so name underscore ash dot ext so here we have frame padding so in my case I had 100 frame animation so see here so that means in 100 we have 3 digits so that means you want to give frame paddings to 3 so that means it will render starts from 0 0 1 2 uh, so ends up with 100 so here we want to set the frame range so I will start from 1 frame to 100 start from first frame to 100th frame so that means see here in your file destination it will save as 001 up to 100 frames so because we give frame padding to 3 so now go to bottom side so here you want to set definitely your renderable cameras as per short cam 01 because I my camera name will be set as short cam so don't select your perspective view it's really important so you want to check one or two times for this one go to image size to HD so I will choose HD 1080 so now go to quality tab you want to set maximum sample level to 2 so we already set in lighting so go to scenes here you want to expand this shutter option so you want to turn on this motion blur to full so because we want to uh, in case you have animation objects in your scene you definitely turn on your motion blur to full otherwise the, your animation looks so weird so see here in my case my mobile will be animated like this so that means you definitely turn on this motion blur to full so you want to check the settings one or two times before we start rendering so I will click close so before we start render you want to save this scene go to file I will choose save scene as so this one is the rendering so I will give rendering and choose save so you set the all the values and you want to save the scene so go to rendering tab so I will go over rendering so go to render and choose batch render option box and choose batch render and close so see here it will start rendering over here so you will see in script editor I click on script editor so it will expand like this see here it will starts so see here it will automatically starts in D drive mobile advertisement images folder it will automatically create mobile output and it will render as mobile output underscore 001.tga 
so it will shows the percentage over here so it will start first frame up to 20 frame 20 percentage render completed so it will takes lot of time to render so i will pause my video okay so see here it will shows it will complete my 100th frame render so and in bottom side it will shows render completed and see Maya render log text information so that means my render is completed up to 100th frame so we want to check in our destination folder so I will set my D drive as my destination folder so I will go my D drive in mobile advertisement so in images folder so I will got one new folder so this is happened by uh, this render layer over here so we will set as mobile output so why it will render in this folder so in inside it has lot of frames so it, see here it will start from 0, 0, 001 frame up to 100th frame so that means our render is completed perfectly so in my PC it will take up to 2 and a half hours to 3 hours to render this 100 frames so the rendering is totally depend upon your uh, PC configuration if you have higher end PC it will takes less time if you have low uh, configuration PC it will takes huge render time so it's totally depend upon your uh, system configuration and system graphics card and system RAM so that's it that the end of our uh, rendering part so we want to see uh, in next part we want to comp this render images in after effects so we will see on part 6 click the button to learn part 6 composition